we need to create a function called Zamba blah 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 plugin options that will show our form with the settings that we need. So let me just um, say something here. A lot of what will you what you will see next, um, it'll be normal if you think, hey, but like there's no way I could have known that. Normally, I like it when after you learn the basics of something, you can just figure the rest out. So I usually avoid situations where you need to know everything in advance, or otherwise you can't use it. Um, sadly, in WordPress, we do have some of that, some of the stuff you need to have seen so that you can then use. And what, will be, uh, what I will be adding here, um, it includes the way forms in all admin pages are set up. So they're set up as a table using certain classes, certain divs, we need to follow that pattern uh, so that our settings uh, page will look just like the other uh, native settings pages, because that's what we want. Um, WordPress versions do modify the, the, the styling, uh, so you want to keep yours uh, clean and following the, the standards that the rest follow, so that um, if WordPress is updated, your settings page will look just as good. Sweet. Okay. So, uh, we need to close the PHP now for a bit. This is also something that I, I don't like doing very much and that you normally don't do in other PHP, in PHP frameworks. You wouldn't do this, but you do it in WordPress and that's just well, what we have to deal with. Um, so, I'm going to start adding all these things that I was telling you about, um, the, the form structure that we need. We can show, there's also like a uh, settings icon that we want to show, and I'm going to add the title for this page, like this, and time for the form tag. All um, forms here go to options.php, which is, this is one of WordPress uh, files, you're welcome to, to open it and take a look if you want. Um, so we are going to specify now the settings that, we're, that we'll be showing. We're going to specify the setting group. Now, the good thing about following all these standards is that WordPress does come with some um, cross-site um, protection. So after I, I add some of these um, specifications for the setting group and whatnot, uh, WordPress will not um, will protect our form if somebody else um, steals our session and tries to um, to trigger a submission from us in, a, in like through a through a malicious link, and it will be protected. Um, so this is how we specify the uh, settings part. And now we need to create a, a table for the form. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the entire table from the finished example and then I'll go through it. Um, so see how we need to use certain classes, a certain structure, and we specify a label for each one of the fields, and um, this is how we show the, the current, currently saved value for this setting. So by using get option anywhere in the code, you can get the value of this setting. This is the setting that I previously registered here. And that setting is also um, specified here in the name of the field. Um, we have then both, uh, both. This actually should go here as well. And this should go here. We have both uh, fields. Uh, you can add some help text if, if, you, if you want to for your user to know what the setting is for. And after the table, this is how we add the, the submission button. This should be enough to have this up and running. You're already going to see some values because I've entered them previously, um, but I, I can just modify these and show you how it's being saved. And see that it's, um, yeah, I mean, it has, you, you need to add this stuff, but it's good that we don't have to worry about the saving um, we don't have to create a function just for the saving part because WordPress will take care of it through the options uh, file. 